is batch number two or attempt number two for the June soap challenge for wood grain soap. And we're going to be doing a kind of a five color, um, two parts. It's going to be one loaf and I'm going to mix everything together, divide out the batter without the fragrance for one part. So I'll add the fragrance and then do the other colors divide it out into two separate pots so it'll all be ready to pour in once in case I have any issues. So this is a wood grain soap and I'm going to be using Magnolia Leaf and Tonka by Brandleberry. I've never used this fragrance. It's supposed to behave well but it's also supposed to discolor to light brown so the color should work okay. My base color which is going to be 50% of the batch is going to be gingerbread brown mica from whole excuse me from wholesale supplies plus. I've got copper mica from Brambleberry firecracker and blackberry from nurture. So let's go ahead and get started. This should be a pretty fast pour. It's similar to a one pot wonder, which I've done is just cut completely different, which is something that I don't really have experience with. This is the first time I've done this for this month's challenge. So this is try number two. Let's go ahead and get started.
I'm ready to cut this one. The colors are kind of interesting on top. So we'll see what it's gonna look like when it actually comes to a full cure. So there's a lot of colors going on, lots of patterns going on. The cut of the first soap in this challenge um, actually turned out really well. So hopefully the same thing will happen with this one and then the future one. So what I'm gonna do is I mark the end that is going to have the most pattern and I'm gonna snip off just a little tiny bit because that's my little end piece. So all my bars will weigh the same and then I'm gonna cut off a one inch slice on the other one. So the reason why I pick the side to cut off the least amount because this has the most pattern because I wanna have as much pattern as I can in those middle bars. So I'm gonna cut off that one, cut off a one inch slice here, and then I'm gonna cut horizontally one inch pieces, and then I'll slice those into thirds so that I'll end up with my 10 bars. Let's go ahead and cut this open.